Community Medical Center's chaplains are doing more than just providing emotional and spiritual support every day to patients, their families and staff. They are also training more chaplains for Valley Hospitals. Community Regional Medical Center is the only facility in the Central Valley that offers a chaplain residency program, a professional training ground for spiritual care providers to learn health care ministry skills. It's never easy to be in the hospital, especially through this pandemic. Patients and staff alike can struggle mentally and emotionally through the stress. That's when chaplains step in. Spiritual care is not just standing by oneself. It's all the part of the holistic care for the patients. And when there is a lack of spiritual care, a patient may feel into some of the other areas, like us feeling more uh, depressed, feeling more lonely, feeling more sad. Kido Wan is the program director of the Clinical Pastoral Res residency program at community medical centers. He explains in the past, if someone in the Central Valley wanted to become an accredited chaplain, they would have had to travel to the Bay Area or Los Angeles for a chaplain residency program. Now there is one offered right here at Community Regional. We are the first and only uh, CPE residency program in Central California accredited by ACPE. Lorena Villa is one of the current Clinical Pastoral Education, or CPE, residents. She was a Spanish language interpreter at Community Regional before she says she found her true passion. I found a call in a chaplaincy when I would interpret for a palliative or end-of-life uh, family meetings. I found my call there, and I just thought that maybe... I could support patients in a different way instead of interpreting. Lorena says she's thrilled this program is offered in a place she already calls home. She feels it's important now more than ever to offer spiritual support to patients since COVID-19 precautions limit hospital visitors. I've found that a lot of patients uh, feel isolated. They feel a lot more lonely. Um, they feel anxious. Uh, they really want to talk to somebody and uh, to somebody and, and to be with somebody that's going to listen to them. So being in the hospital during COVID has had, there's been a heightened sense of loneliness and I think a kind of a spiritual weight on the patients. I think what more perfect time to train and learn into this skill set than in a time like COVID. Josh Houston was involved in church ministry for more than a decade, but says it wasn't completely fulfilling his potential to give. So much of church ministry these days involves church management, it, it involves administration, and while I can do that stuff, I consider myself far more gifted in spiritual care, spiritual direction, soul care. The CPE program is multi-faith and interfaith, and the chaplains and community medical centers respect diversity. Josh says he looks forward to being a listening ear to all in the hospital. To be able to sit with someone and see them and listen, actively listen and hear their story and hear their pain and hear their loneliness. Um, I, don't know if there's, I don't know if there's any moments I've had that have been so beautiful and meaningful and potent. This accredited program has been in the works since 2018. With approval from the U.S. Department of Education this past May, Keto says it can't come at a better time as the Central Valley suffers from a shortage of chaplains. And these chaplains go on to work in hospitals throughout the region. I think it's great service for the Central Valley so that they can learn from this chaplaincy program and serve the Central Valley. I think that's really important.